Some people call me a hoarder, but I just love hanging on to stuff because it's always going to have a purpose. So all this stuff, an old wash machine, left over from a building site, left over from a building site, nuts and bolts I've just collected over the years, old stainless steel bowl that was left here. The only thing I had to buy was this tray, which was a uh, $1. So I'll show you where all this is going to go. This is going to be the blade for the bottom of the apple mulcher that we're making to make apple cider. First, we just need to cut these handles off to make it a perfect circle. So after you cut the edge with the grinder, you'll then run the file over the one edge, slowly work that down, flip it over and back up onto the other edge till you get rid of the burr so you don't cut yourself. So it's a nice, um, safe corner. I'm going to draw a line through the centre. That will be our two blades. So come in 15mm from the edge just so the bolt can uh, clamp there. And then you'll see the rest how I do it. I'm going to cut across here and back here and the opposite on the other side. And then we'll bend that up and that will be the blade. cut the four blades and then bent them up to make the blade and then put the shaft or bolt through with a nut on either side to lock it in. Next on the hopper put a hole in the middle for the bolt to go through or the shaft and then we're going to fit this piece of tubing here just to strengthen up the bowl and to hold the top end of the shaft so it doesn't wobble around. I cut a piece of round tube to hold the bearing in place with two flat pieces of steel either side to stop it from twisting. I'll screw that to hold it in place. Then the shaft comes up through with the nut either side to keep it nice and sturdy and to stop it from moving around. We'll give a nice bit of movement without anything binding up. I've cut a piece of tube pipe for the bearing to sit in. That's going to get welded onto there. This is the arm holding the bottom that holds the shaft there. Then we're going to have two legs coming up here, like so. And then the top will sit on there. And this motor gets bolted to these bits of um, angle iron with the pulley off to the side.